Um, Andre was singing in a very particular style, and sometimes you have the, the impression that it was uh, like when you play a guitar, you know, you do a kind of exercise, so there, there is a more easy, more fast, more beautiful. So the impression is that Andre was using the voice like an instrument, you know. Yeah. So sometimes you can have some songs, especially for the first record, that are really uh, not easy to approach. And not easy, especially if you think about a tour. Because one thing is to sing a song uh, once, once, one show. Yeah. One thing is uh, to do it in a complete tour. And um, then there is also some good points about regarding the, 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 the other singer of the band. I'm talking about Edu. Edu, in my opinion, as uh, and the head. Uh, kind of a very nice and cool timbre in the voice and a very nice expression like for example tonight we will play probably uh, Winds of Destination from Temple of Shadows record and this song um, has a, a very very cool and nice middle part with piano and voice and the feeling the expression in the voice was amazing when I was listening to this record I was like wow <laughs> The record is very good and Edu was singing sometimes, like in this part, with a little more feeling and expression, uh, a little, not just a little, much more than a usual power metal singer. Because usually in power metal music, the only thing that I don't really like is that they, the singers, usually they sing very good, very well, if you think about technique. but there's a feeling missing, you know? Yeah. Is it like a power metal? No, that's it. Let's see how high we can... But, in, especially in this record, the Temple of Shadows, there are many parts where Edu was singing with a kind of expression and feeling. So I have to say... E Andre is a cantor very professional, very competent, and he has a voice a little particular, a little feminine. This is a good question also, considering that I am singing with a band that he knows very well. So, Andre Matos is um, it's for sure the, the most characteristic singer of Brazil, I think. His style is unique. You can... How would you rate him? I am a good friend of him. I really like him as a person and uh, I have a very good memory of him in uh, Viareggio, in uh, Toscany, with my with my first girlfriend, yeah, and him. And um, 
is unique because uh, somebody don't doesn't like him because his voice is very f like feminine but this is unique is his style is a great composer a great man uh, I would say eight okay just because I'm sorry but if you have nine for somebody <laughs> you can't really okay, give the same right. number Edu Falaski <sighs> Edu, I, I don't know him so well. I think it's a great composer and a very good singer. And uh, for sure, he did a lot of good things for Angra. Uh, of course, Angra could not be Angra without Andre. Because Andre was the founder, the beginning. But I have to say that Edu did a very great job because after Andre, after many years, uh, I, I can be sure that for Edu was not easy to, to, to take the ship. And yes. So he did it. He did it a good way. He wrote good songs. He was uh, pretty good live also. And uh, maybe a less, a less unique than Andre. I tell the truth. I mean. Yes, of course. That's why we're asking you. I want to hear your opinion. He's a great singer. I like him, but maybe a less unique than Handre, for sure. But this doesn't mean that he's bad, because he composed some incredible songs. And uh, I would say like 7.8. Okay.